guys it is the end of another month which means it is time for monthly favorites so today I'm gonna to be showing you some of my favorite products from the month of November can my bed be a favorite cuz so I have one makeup favorite and that is my Berry Amore blush by Milani I love this blush every winter fall season it is I can't open it it is so pretty it is a beautiful berry color, but it's marbled with like a gold glitter shimmery color. So it gives you a little bit of a shimmer to your cheeks and I just love it. I always reach for this one around this time of the year because it's more of a warm color versus a peach that I would reach for for spring and summer. Absolutely, absolutely love this color. You need to check it out. I have a lip product that I love. I actually reach for this type of thing a lot in the fall and winter. It is more of a moisturizing lip balm. This is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm Shea Butter. And these you can find at Ulta, usually in like the men's section because there it's Jack Black so he has like men's facial stuff. <laughs> But there's lip balms too and I love this one. It smells good. It works really well. It keeps my lips nice and hydrated for a really long time. It has a nice shine to it so I highly recommend that. To go along with the skincare type of items I have Biore pore strips. I remember being like 14 and using these all the time and I just recently rediscovered them in Target and I was like oh I love those things. They're like a hard plaster cast thing you put on your nose and then you rip it off and it's like all grossness but it feels so good to do it. I actually have to take out my nose ring to do it because otherwise that hurts. But I love these things. They make my face feel <laughs> so much cleaner and I tend to get, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, right here on the tip of my nose I tend to get a zit there quite often. So trying to use something like this is really good and it just keeps your pores clean and I love it. We are getting into the colder months which means drier skin and so I'm doing everything I can to prevent dry skin. So I have three different lotion brands to talk to you guys about. These are all ones that I use very regularly. They're ones that I reach for over anything else that I've ever tried. The first one is the Bath and Body Works uh, Ultra Shea Body Creams. This one is in the scent Twisted Peppermint, which is awesome. I was like obsessed with this scent last summer, or last winter, and this one's left over from last winter. I have so many different varieties of these from Bath & Body Works. They smell good. They work so well. They're super hydrating. They're not greasy at all. I keep the ones like this in the bathroom and put them on after I get out of the shower because it's in a squeeze tube so it's easy to apply and I just really like them. They all smell super good too. The lotions that I keep in my bedroom to apply at night are these ones. They are the fortune cookie soap whipped cream. I like these better at night versus in the morning because it's a pot so I hate getting lotion under my nails it's like a weird thing I don't like it and it drives me nuts but I don't mind so much at night versus during the day but these are super moisturizing they smell good too the fortune cookie soap scents are amazing they have a rotation of different collections every few months and I just love their products. The other one is the Body Shop Body Butters. These work amazingly well too. And they always smell good. I like these little pots because I use them up faster than a big pot, but I've had the big pots too. Um, I also like the little ones to keep in my purse as like an on-the-go type of a moisturizer. I like these because they're way more hydrating than say... A like lotion like this which I feel like these ones tend to be more greasy or um, don't feel as moisturizing to me I usually save those kind of ones to use in the summer because they're thinner the thicker lotions I like for winter time 
on my nails this past month, I have been in love with glitter nail polishes. I used to be so like hesitant to use glitter polishes, but I don't know, just something about being in the colder months, the holiday season makes me want to have my nails nice and sparkly. So I have a few here that I have worn recently. I have a couple different red glitters that I absolutely love. This first one is Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. Absolutely beautiful. It is a classic. You can buy it at like Ulta or Sally's. I think Target might sell China Glaze now. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't remember. But so so pretty. Perfect for the holiday season. It is a really pretty red with a ton of red and gold glitter in it. It's so beautiful. It's what I had on my nails last week and definitely something that I reach for around Christmas time or holiday season-ish, Valentine's Day, anything like that because it is just so pretty. The other one is the one that I've had on my toes all month, all month long and this one is Ariana. Yeah. Ariana by Zoya. It's more of a pinky red color but it is a pixie dust, so it has really chunky glitter in it, and it's more of a textured gl glitter polish, but it's so pretty, and I love the difference in these ones, because this one is more of a pink, it has chunkier glitter, this one is more of a red and has like a goldish tint to it, and it is a finer milled glitter. Both beautiful, both scream holiday to me, I love them. The color I have on my nails right now is this one. It's called Aurora by Zoya, and I love it because one, it's a Disney princess name, two, it's purple, three, it's glitter, and it's just beautiful. I love it. I have yet another Zoya color. Zoya is one of my favorite nail polish brands to reach for for glitter because they have the pixie dust, which are like straight up all glitter, and I just love reaching for them. This one is called Cosmo, which I have on my ring finger right now. It is a super chunky gold, like, like a white gold glitter, if that makes sense. It's like very slightly tinted gold, but it's like a silvery, it's really, really pretty. You need to check it out because it's amazing. And finally, I have this one that's called On a Silver Platter by Etsy not Etsy, Essie, by Essie, and I picked this up a few holidays ago. I think it might have been two years ago, but it is amazing. It is so pretty. I get compliments on it every time I wear it. It is a silver glitter with blue, almost like indigo-ish, because it's like a purpley blue glitter in it absolutely beautiful. So that was all my beauty-ish favorites. Now on to some randomness and have I mentioned my bed is my favorite? Because that's random and I have like so many pillows on my bed right now that I just want to make a nest. But let's jump into food favorites. So something else that's like completely random is peanut butter. I have been loving peanut butter. Extra crunchy peanut butter on a peanut butter sandwich or on celery or on apples. It's, oh, I don't know why. It just makes me feel, I especially when I have like a peanut butter sandwich, it makes me feel like I'm three years old. But I've been digging it this past month and it's what I've been reaching for as a snack and it's just delicious. Also kind of a random thing is gum. Cinnamon gum to be exact. I have been searching for Big Red Gum, which I heard that they discontinued or something. Like it was too spicy or something. People were putting too many pieces in their mouth or something. So Trident has a cinnamon gum. The flavor doesn't last as long as Big Red did and the flavor isn't as strong as Big Red was, but it's still good. It loses its flavor in like five minutes, but cinnamon gum has been like what I've been reaching for over mint gum, which is very surprising to me because I haven't had cinnamon gum since I was in high school, so, but it definitely has been a favorite this past month. For movies, I went and saw the new Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 with my mom a couple weeks ago when it first came out, and I highly recommend checking it out. I love all of the Hunger Games 
movies, they just do such a good job sticking to the books. Like, I think more so than almost any other series. Like, they don't leave a lot out. They're very, very close to the books, and I really appreciate that. Um, the Hunger Games series isn't my favorite dystopian series, but I still really, really, really like it. Highly recommend going and seeing it in the theater. If you get a chance, this, like, the surround sound of it in a theater is just so good. I wanted to see it in 3D because some, like, the explosions, if you could imagine the explosions being, like, all up in your face, they're so good. Another movie that I saw this past month that I fell in love with was The Age of Adeline. This has Blake Lively in it, and I have mixed feelings about Blake Lively, but she was really, really good in this. I, I really, really liked it. It was such a good chick flick. It reminded me of a movie that should be a book even though it's not which surprised the heck out of me I thought that it would have been because it was like something that an author would make up and then somebody would steal to make a movie you know what I mean um but yeah if you haven't seen this highly recommend checking it out it was really really good so that was all for my November favorites all very random fun things to show you guys this month Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys have been loving. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!